this is some beautiful comfrey that I have out of my garden which is sitting next to my um my plum tree which hasn't quite gone into blossom yet but it can't be too far away I can see a little bit of new growth just here so it's not too far off um, but this is all about comfrey today I am um, comfrey is a really really good fertilizer for the garden because of its deep root system it is able to draw up through its tap roots um, nutrients that are deep in the soil and then those accumulate in its leaves now we use the leaves and um, as a fertilizer or a chop and drop crop so it's really beautiful as a, in, a, in a guild system where you have a lot of like companion plants together that help attract beneficial insects and that ones that help complement each other via their root systems comfrey works really well underneath fruit trees so that's what I'm doing today I have dug up some roots from um, some comfrey that I've had growing in my garden now for a few years and as I was clearing out a garden bed I dug up a lot so I kept them all and put them in a bucket and this is the first glorious sunny day we've had in a while so I am out um, in the backyard popping um, bits of comfrey root underneath the um, trees which I'll show you how guys how to do because it's really 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 easy to propagate comfrey it wants to um, grow so this variety I got from Koanga this one here was actually a little bit more sensitive it's got such a pretty little flower on it um, it, it took a little while, it looked like it was quite sad for a little while actually, it looked like it was going to die and then suddenly it started duplicating and it's got much bigger. Like the clump I put in must have only been like that much of a plant and now it's got a lot bigger. So that's great but it's taken a few years to get it there. I'm going to show you now um, some regular comfrey. I don't know what the, this variety is called, but it flowers all year, which and it and it's got it's in leaf all year, whereas the other one dies back over winter time. So this one's really great for medicine all year round. I don't really have to scurry around in the autumn time collecting up all my comfrey leaves and flowers because I have this beauty growing all year that I can collect from. So here's some regular comfrey growing back. So comfrey is used um, medicinally and topically um, for um, bone healing and ligament healing and um, bruising. Um, just the leaves dried and then steeped into an oil is really amazing for mending bones. Um, but its main function for me, well, as well as that, is um, nourishing my garden and nourishing all the other plants. So here I have it growing under beautiful feijoas. So when they pop up over the summertime, I'm regularly coming through here and chopping and dropping these down. They actually get quite big, like they'll end up being way up here and bushing out, way out here and flowering. So on the peak of summer I'm regularly coming around all my fruit trees and chopping and dropping them, the comfrey underneath. And then that acts as a mulch as well as a fertiliser because that's how comfrey works. Beautiful, you can just lay it down straight on top of the ground and it becomes this beautiful nourishing, fertilising um, goodness for your garden. See, there's another little one there. I feel like I might, I mean, I weeded in here not so long ago, and look at that, they're all back. Um, um, and what I might do is clear out some of these weeds here as well, and um, pop in some more comfrey. Because this here turns into a big comfrey bed as well. Comfrey's all just poking itself back up as we move into the spring season that bursting its way out and here should we let it see a little bit more light oh, it'll find its way so yeah all along here beautiful comfrey 
So in the winter, um, in the springtime, I dumped a whole lot of manure underneath here as well. So these comfrey plants should really pump this year, and I should get some um, fantastic amounts of comfrey leaves for fertilizer. So here I have my bucket full of comfrey. So uh, when I propagate them, I just um, you know, snap them into like inch big pieces and then pop them in the ground. It's super easy to propagate. Um, the leaves also are really awesome uh, in your compost. It's a green. I also wanted to inform you guys um, that also to be aware because they are resilient and they can, you know, combat, compete against kaikuia. Will you put these guys in your soil? They're going to be there forever because any little tiny little bit of root that stays in the ground is going to grow a whole nother comfrey plant. So you really don't want to put these in your vegetable garden because you're never going to be able to get them out when you want to clear them out and put say another vegetable crop in there. It's not going to happen for you. So um, the consideration is when you're putting these in the ground is that they are there permanently. They, I mean, and that's lovely because they have some fabulous qualities about them and you definitely want them in and around your garden. But um, be aware, once they're there, they're there forever. Uh, also what I've been doing with these is um, putting them up along my fence line as a fodder crop for my cows. So um, the cows are pretty terrible actually at sticking their heads through the um, fence and eating the grass on the other side. So I've just um, gone along and popped lots of... Um, these roots, uh, the root in the ground to propagate comfrey and then it's a beautiful tonic medicine because as we know it is full of minerals for the cows to be eating so they will um, pop their heads through and have a good old uh, munch so that's another lovely thing about comfrey is it can be a fodder crop right so here I am with my apple tree this produces a lot of beautiful apples um, every year that comes as well so that's nice I planted it like the first year we we moved in here so it's been here a while now quite a few years old um, I'm just going to clear away some of this beautiful kaikuya so I can see so I am feeding this every year with um, also with manure from the cows, so I'll bring cow manure on it. I've chucked loads, every year I've chucked loads of um, homemade compost around it. Um, this year I also put coffee grounds around it. Um, but here I'm just going to get the comfrey root. Just stick it and pop it straight in the soil. Just make sure it's covered up and it's as simple as that. It's so easy. Um, it's going to be um, no competition with the kaikuia because this stuff is um, just as resilient as the kaikuia so it can keep up, it's, um, it's a tough one but ideally I want it all around it now the other thing is, is um, if you don't chop this back and it gets big and bushy and it's all up around the um, the bark and the stem of your tree um, it, I've noticed that it does well there's a lot of roly-polies in here promote um, it promotes a lot of um, slugs and snails and so then those slugs and snails will go in and they'll start munching the bark on your tree so that's something to be really um, really aware of um, that if you're planting these around your tree make sure over summertime that you are chopping and dropping them so that there's um, not just making um, a home for slugs and snails. Quite beautiful out here today it's peaceful and it's very quiet and there's a lot of birds getting busy so which means I need to get busy and get some bell collars for my um, 
for my cats this year because I don't want them killing off all the native um, bird life and going in and eating all the baby birds out of the bush. I mean the cats are really good in the winter time and this in the autumn time killing off um you know mice and rats which there's this massive epic problem of m mice and rats out here um so having them come in the cats come in and, and keep those and manage those is really 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 good but then the um, downside to that is that they're killing birds like um, and, and killing baby birds as well which is not okay so this year they're getting bell collars and they're gonna think that I've like tormenting them but I'm gonna save the wildlife around here because I really 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 love the wildlife I love the birds